Good day to everybody. That's the time, Central Standard Time, always with Bino here, and 321 to 1,012, folks. And basically, the 7.9 didn't even happen. The 7.6 didn't happen. The 7.4 didn't happen. Okay, and it wasn't a 7.4, and who knows how much they've got to chime down to now. And what do we got? And so basically, what is spread and poop? Okay, because basically, we had a 5.8. What they're saying is 5.3. Now, I know when I was watching Dutch's video that they messed around with the resolution where you can't even see the numbers on the quake here. Well, let's go to USGS to see what we have. So, as you see that I'm going here and it loads, and then we go down and we had a 7.4 they put it at. Okay. So, it's starting to get hushy hushy. It's starting to get muffly muffly. Uh, I'm wondering how much damage was on the coast. Uh, haven't got any shots. That one that I showed you, the pool was BS. It was from an Easter of 2010, I think, uh, of a quake or something. And, they, and I'm wanting to know if basically maybe that feed was, we don't know. So that feed that, and basically if you listen to my audio, that's what I said when I did my video. And let's go show you what that one was. Now as you go down through here, I don't believe you see 7.4 or anything on. Okay. They have it, it says 7.6, .6, and if you see, they put it in maroon color, 7.6, okay, RSOE has. And then if you go up to the map on, this is the, the USA one that I've got here, and we'll see if we see it on here and if it puts it up. Now, if you go to the Hungarian one, and all our brothers over in Hungary, you know, relax, but what I'm just doing is showing the truth here. If we go over to, so you got the 4.2, and I'll see if I zoom in a little bit and see if it's got the other one and maybe they don't even have it on here either now here we go with that that's 4.2 and it's off the coast and I X that out and see what else we'll get and we, we have that yeah 7.6 Guerrero Mexico so there's your data on that but you gotta dig it you gotta dig for it because if we go out all the way full screen okay and I'll come back in there but that's pretty much all you get, okay? So you got to hit it just right to get that. And then let's go ahead and look at it. And like I say, this is the USA RSOE, different feed. You want to always look at all both of them. And then we'll go see what we get on. And see how at the 7.6, you really kind of don't notice it because it's not red. Okay, maroon. So I guess we could look for that color in the future for higher quakes, like an 8.0 or something. And then and then we'll go up and look at the map. And you look and you don't even, you, you'll click on there. So there's a little bit of something going, hey, could you cushion shit a little bit? Because you got to zoom in to see the 7.6. And let me go to uh, the map right now. And as you see, I'll, I'll read it off. I got a 5.3, 5.1, 5.1, 4.7. Boom, 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 boom. And we got the big, but it's only sitting there listing at 5.0 all the way down on the bottom of the, and you can see the footprint, okay? So we know this happened, duh. So we'll even minus down to what gets close to, and then there's your action. And then as you see, uh, I didn't spin that fast. Uh, but anyway, software, software, supervisory control, and data acquisition. Okay, so as you see the wave here, there is your signature of what magneticism we have out there. Okay, up and around. And then we will go around and track it all, and you can see, you can just follow the suns and the supergiants, okay? And they will give you the course of action, and then a little flex over here. Now, everybody needs to remember and realize, too, watch out, that, I mean, watch this, that basically uh, there was, a, at the same exact time, we had the 6.4 in Indonesia. Long ways away. That's real fast. Because basically, uh, well, we're showing an hour difference now. I could have swore when I first looked at that, that the idea that who cares, doesn't matter. Uh, but it does in realistic things too. That's very fast. Let me compute that real fast. I'm going to give you a mileage and compute how fast that moved in the soft uh, here. I you know what it actually stands for. All this micro my ass. Anyway, so. Basically, they always bend to popular searches, and Earthquake is popular, folks. This is their window right now, okay? So, very popular. 
So that quake traveled 80, eight, uh, excuse me, 8,081 miles, 13,005 kilometers, 7,022 nautical miles. Okay, that's ocean. Uh, 43.4 milliseconds in a vacuum, 60.8 milliseconds. So we are traveling pretty fast on Earth's crust, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check this out again. Because basically we did that in uh, 4 minutes, 6 minutes, 30 seconds. 6 minutes, 30 seconds, so let's compute that. Let's just do some quick math and it's 1243 miles a minute okay so if something keeps doing that at a higher magnitude that fast 1243 miles a minute uh, that's gonna make some slippity slosh slosh and I think since we're not hearing nothing about down there in Mexico I got a feeling something went slippity slosh slosh and we're not gonna hear about it for a long time so it did happen. It's on RSOE and it's on USGS, and you're not hearing about anything about it in uh, TV today. You're hearing political BS, where the idea that Republican Party gets their head out of their ass because they don't know what the hell they're doing, and the idea that they're talking about a bunch of crap, East Coast, Florida, something like that, a bunch of uh, smoke and mirrors, and get you talking about this and that. Uh, that's coming from Pennsylvania Avenue because they're trying to win the election. They don't like you to have a Support the NRA every day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, keeps this country free and great every day, 24-7. You never know what somebody's got for cards. Uh, NRA, 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 USA, USA, USA. The Republican Party needs to get head out of their ass. So, basically, you have to zoom in. Okay, because if you're at, and this is at the Hungarian one, you have to zoom in. Because if you first look at Mexico, all you do is see that. So then you got to if you hit that, you're going to get the four point, whatever. Okay, and then you get the red quakes. Okay, you can zoom in on them. Then you can see everything going on around it and everything like that. And uh, I would say we need to find the closest uh, volcano to uh, that area too. Now Indonesia, where that other six point something quake was at, I think it was six point four. Uh, and then you can't. The, you know, we know it was 7.9 in Mexico to begin with, okay, so 7.6 at least, and then because RSOE is 7.4 now, but looking at the volcano action over in, uh, was on it just a second ago, Indonesia, uh, we have, yeah, right here on the 18th, okay, and then today's the 21st, yesterday was the 20th, a duh, now people, stick with me here. Okay, we don't have any volcano activity there on this listing. Okay. Super volcanoes monitoring system. Uh, Indonesia. On the 12th. Okay. So in Mexico, we don't have anything listed. So, no quake. But uh, keep an eye on volcanoes down there. Let's see what we got for fast moving objects. And we do have uh, quite fast. And we're going to have quite fast here at 90 something kilomiles an hour. Okay. And then well, that'll be fast. No, that won't be that fast, but that's still fast. But wow, we got another fast bugger. So watch out for 2008 GD. So be careful where you're at on the 30th of March before or day after. Uh, so that's pretty quick. 32.35 kilomiles a second. That's moving out. So that's a fast magnet flying by. Fast, fast motor action. Uh, and then we got to look at the sizes also. What do we got for big coming by? And remember, you know the meatballs out there. Go back and watch videos on that. It's not really going to change much. I should go, I'll try to go up there in the next video or so and look at what we got for fresh pictures of the meatball and so forth. And we can go to NASA Neo and see if they got any explanations of anything new. And we will take a look at the fact that we have nothing really close. We have 
This one here, the, which is a new one to pop up, so let's take a look at that. And sorry, I wasn't looking at the date. And like I say, don't take time to edit too much. We got the 20th. So everything's pretty far out. This is somewhat close, but it's, you know. So that happened on the 18th. And what pretty much might have been a nice magnet, mag magnetic, mag magnification, magneticism to, uh, like I say, I don't cut and edit very. I just hurry up and plop this stuff out here. So this is some very interesting objects. We had double objects on the 20th, okay, because we had that big 7.9 uh, earthquake, okay. Uh, they are minusing and cushioning that quake, trying to get everybody to calm down because any engineer will say 8.0 quake, uh, you're going to have a lot of problems with something somewhere, okay? So these two objects here are very interesting, okay, and then they're moving away too. So let's go ahead and pop up which one would be. This one's going to be the closest object. We'll just take a look at that real fast on its map. Okay, now this is close, but it's not real close. We know we got to get down into point zero something to get real close, so we're not really too worried about that. And it came by at 716, okay, as you see there, okay, on Earth. And then uh, not going to be close again until the 23rd, but it is moving away. And they had a condition 4 on that, as you see there. And... 7.16 UTC time is what it came around. So what did we have again on our, and like I say, I can't, you should be able to see Earth on here, and Earth is right there underneath the 2012 VT23. So with that and that other one, uh, we minus out of that real fast, and I basically I can play with this a little bit, and you'll see Earth there. Okay, and there's that rotation of that object in space. I guess we'll go load a fireball real fast, see what we can see there. Uh, we'll go to the map real fast, and there's what you got for, you should be able to see this. So there's your astronomy for the day, and then let's go ahead and look what we had last night. See how much action we had, and again, this is not fall solstice, and we have all kinds of action. So let's I'll go ahead and see what we get for a closest object. As you can see, what you see here, the little white spots would be objects flying by space. That's Earth there. It is looking up, but it's basically a mirror at looking at Earth because that's what it would almost look like. An outer space going by Earth because we're looking at a crystal ball looking up at space. Nighttime sky, all this nighttime sky. So we, this is basically 10 hours later is when we got these two quakes. Okay, 10 hours of those two objects coming by or close to Earth. Real quick on the data, that's our winner for the IU there, that 1.26 IU. That's kind of close. Uh, could have been one of those objects there. And then we go and we've got 189.55 IU. Well, that's a hell of a long ways out, folks. So we, I try to make people kind of be calm about the meatball, but the idea that with all this stuff coming by, the meatball is probably bouncing into something somewhere because we've got a lot of stuff that we're basically not supposed to be in uh, winter solstice right now, okay? All the asteroids that we know of, and NASA lied to us a long time ago around Thanksgiving on that one Thursday, before Thanksgiving, I believe. We got asteroids close to Earth, a lot of them, okay, and even out of season. And we got temperatures on Earth and stuff out of season and so forth and so on. The bees are buzzing, girls are looking sexy, everything's going on. So, anyway, there you go. And. <laughs> I think this one, it's not really going to matter too much, but this is whatever this one here is, the one that was way the hell out there. Okay, More data on those would be the idea of the factuality that that one was somewhat close. It's half the distance of the sun, and that one there is a quarter of the distance of the sun at 0 0.293 IU. And then we got, uh, I think, our close winner at... Okay. And all those objects, and the the next uh, farthest one out was 0.7 something. That's, that's about three-quarters of the distance of Earth to the sun. Okay, now if you know anything about news agencies, I was basically watching Bloom, and I'm not going to advertise, and the idea that if you, there's a close relation to there and the Peacock, uh, FCC licenses and so forth and so on, scratch your back, I scratch that back, or who the hell knows. So anyway, if you watched Geithner reporting yesterday, he told you a lot of truth, and so did the... Uh, politicians, uh, the congressmen, senators, 